okay welcome back today we will be looking at some application of division of line the question is when do we use division of line technique one we use division of line technique for example when we wish to, when we have a number of equally spaced circles or patterns in this case within a specific distance so we have here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we have ten circles or ten little holes on this roof down here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine steps on this building here we have one two three four five we have five rows of windows all right the first task i'll be showing you how to apply division of line techniques here so to use division of line techniques first i would i'm gonna draw the the fascia board This is the that. Uh, my roof has an angle of thirty degrees. So I'll be using my 6 to 30 set square. Now, to divide this distance into 10 equal parts, I first start by drawing a random length line. Random length. Next, I will be using my compass to mark off 10 equal spaces. So I adjust my compass to, this is one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I will need to extend my line. So we have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 point order. All right. So I'm counting 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. My 10th point. Next step is to join the last point to the end of the line. here to there. Next step I'll be using both set squares. Draw my parallel lines. So I start here and I go one Just four, five, six, 
just in case it should simple one two we align go again so there we go we have our tin equal space Next, I will use this, draw a line to the center here. Then bring these points vertically upward. We have one, two, three, four, Okay, there we have it. One, that's pretty much how we apply division of line techniques into getting a number of equal spaces. Now, onto this one, which is a little bit more technical probably if it's 